up, ladies and gents? And come on an adventure with your boy, Shaka Zulu, as we dive deep into the book of Animals, The Invasion, written by K.A. Applegate, read to you by yours truly. But today we're just um, going to read chapter 8. I might even read chapter 9 and drop both of them at the same time. So the last thing, this is a recap. Before I get into the recap, though, we got to, you know, smoke a little bit, man. Cheers, guys. Actually, I didn't even turn my shit on. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm a little bit lit right now. I joke a little bit. You know, I'm smoking a little bit now. So that's why my energy might be a little bit different right now. But cheers, guys. Ooh. And we're still on the plug play live red live live is but it's almost like towards the end it's almost done so the next one i might smoke a joint i might not or smoke something because i have no other cartridges right now because i ended up tossing out my papa herbs i didn't even know where i'm with y'all but um <laughs> i'm fucking lit right now so recap recap the last thing that happened was tobias he he's the first one to ever morph so he morphed into his own cat um, he's trying to basically convince Jake that, you know, it really happened. Jake knows it's real. He just doesn't want to believe it. You know what I mean? Type thing. He knows it's real, but he doesn't want to fully believe it. Um, just because he doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want to, you know, be in the war. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot to take in. Um, but as you guys know, uh, an Andalite came, warned the guys um, about... A yerk invasion. Yerks are an alien parasite that go in your brain, they control your body, and they act like you. So no one knows who you are. So it's a yerk invasion going on. You can't trust anybody. And the last thing that happened, like I said, was Tobias finally morphed. They got the power to morph. That's what happened that night too. They got the power to morph. And this is the first time that anyone has tried morphing. So chapter eight. I hope I'm asleep, I muttered. I really do. You're not asleep. Is that you, I demanded of the cat? Can you hear me? Tobias sounded surprised, although sounded wasn't quite the right word. Yes, I said cautiously. I did not know I could send thoughts like this, Tobias said, just like the Andalite. I guess it only works when you're morphed. I am talking to a cat, I realized, and I thought Tobias was crazy. I wondered if Tobias had heard my thoughts. I concentrated. Tobias, can you hear me? Yeah, he said. I hear you. Okay, so right now in this scene, man, and I'm just going to point it out now because later on you guys, you guys might be like, what the heck? But right now, they make it to where, like, the person that has the morphing power kind of, like, can thought speak in like their regular form like he's human but he's thought speaking right now to tobias and uh and and tobias is in morph but later on in the series you can only talk to someone in morph through sp thought speak and thought speak is where you can like literally send your thoughts to another person you're talking through your thoughts to the other person so it's not out loud it's all like um um I don't know how, what's the word for it? Telepathy, I think you would say, something like that. Maybe telepathy, I forgot the word. It's something like that. But it's all thought speak stuff. So right now he's talking to him as thought speak as like, and, it's, and he's a human, like, you know what I mean? He, only Andalites can thought speak naturally because they have no mouths. But yeah, we're gonna continue. No, I don't think it works that way. You have to think at me for me to hear it. Hey, watch this. Suddenly, Tobias leaped through the air. He pounced precisely on an autographed baseball that was lying in the corner. Maybe four foot jump. Maybe, maybe four foot jump. That is so excellent. Hey, pull a string for me to chase. Pull a string? Why? Because it's so fun. I dug in my desk drawer and found a length of string left over from, from a birthday gift. I'm not exactly big on keeping my room clean. The string was a birthday two years ago. How's this? 
I drew the string sloped slowly across the floor a foot or more from Tobias from Tobias's nose. He settled back on his haunches and began wiggling his head hindquarters and pounced. He landed on the string, grabbed it in his sharp teeth, rolled over, and began ripping at the string like it was the other thing on earth that mattered. The only thing on earth that mattered. I tried pulling the string away, but he pounced again. Yes, I got it. Tobias, what are you doing? Pull it faster. I see it. I got it. Tobias, what are you doing? I shouted. You're playing with a string. Suddenly he stopped. His tail twitched. He looked at me with those cold cat eyes. But I'm sure I saw a look of confusion there. I... I don't know, he admitted. It's like I'm me, but I'm also dude. I want to chase strings and oh man, if only there was a real live mouse around, I'd really love to track it, to follow it so quietly, to listen to its heartbeat, to, to hear its scratchy little feet. I'd wait till just the right moment, then a perfect pounce. Through the air, through the air, claws stretched out, he extended his claws to demonstrate. Tobias, I think we're learning something here. I said, amazing how quickly I was becoming used to the idea of talking to a cat. What are we learning? I think you aren't just Tobias. You really are a cat. I mean, you have all the instincts. You want to do the things a cat wants to do. Yes, I can feel it. It's like I'm two different animals melded into one. I can think like a person and like a cat. You better change back, I said. He nodded, his cat head up and down. Very weird to see. I could tell you, a cat nodding yes in a thoughtful, normal way. You're right, the change back to human form was at least as strange as the change to cat. The fur disappeared, leaving the bare patches of skin behind. A nose grew out the flat cat face. All right, guys. So let me take a hit real quick. It freaking, the camera stopped recording for some reason, so cheers, guys. The change back to human form was at least as strange as the change to cat. The fur disappeared, leaving bare patches of pink skin behind. A nose grew out of the flat cat face. The tail was sucked up like a snake going up a vacuum cleaner. Tobias stood there, looking embarrassed. He quickly pulled on his clothes. Maybe with some practice, we can figure out how to change back into our clothes. We? He smiled his gentle smile again. Don't you get it, Jake? If I can do it, so can you. I shook my head. I don't think so, Tobias. Suddenly, he grew angry. He grabbed me by both shoulders and actually shook me. Don't you understand, Jake? It's all true, all of it. I pushed him away. I didn't want to hear it, but he kept after me. Jake, it's all true. The Andalite gave us p these powers for a reason. Fine, I snapped. You used them. I will, he said, but we'll need you, Jake, you most of all. Why me, he hesitated. Geez, Jake, don't you understand? I know what I can do and what I can't do. I can't make plans and tell people what to do. I'm not a leader, you are. I laughed rudely. I'm not the leader of anything. He shook, he just looked at me with those deep troubled eyes. I can now see he just looked at me with those deep troubled eyes that I can now see only in my memory. Yes, Jake, you are our leader. You are the one who can bring us all together and help us defeat the controllers. We have the ability to be much more than we are, to have the stealth of a cat and the eyes of an eagle and the sense of a smell of a dog and the speed of a horse or a cheetah. We're gonna need it all if we have any hope of holding against the controllers. I wanted it not to be true. I wanted none of it to be true, but I knew what it was. I nodded slowly. It felt like I was agreeing to something awful, like I was volunteering for a trip to the dentist or something much worse. It felt like a million pounds of weight had just landed on my shoulders. I knew what I had to do next. Well, I said grimly, I guess I better go find Homer. Homer, that's my dog. And that's the end of chapter eight so he's trying to go um basically go see 
um, go morph into his jar, go practice morphing in, with his dog. Um, so the next chapter, he's gonna be morphing his dog. You guys will see. I'm probably gonna do the chapter right now, just because a lot of these chapters are short, and you know, I feel like they leave you like, man, you might as well have just made chapter nine and ten together. I feel like in this book, a lot of the chapters could have just been put together. They could have just made two chapters for every one, like just combine two chapters for this book instead of just having each one. Like one and two should be together, all of them should, you know? Just cause it just ends kind of different, kind of weird. Like it's still like the story still kind of, I don't know. It's just not, it's just not a good ending for like to call it a chapter, you know what I'm saying? Like the end of the chapter, in my opinion. But we're gonna have, shoot, chapter nine coming in a minute, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Remember to eat, breathe, smoke weed. Cheers, guys. Damn, try to go stat. I'm just too lit right now, man. Too lit. But I hope everyone's having a good weekend, a good week. Let's get into chapter nine. It should be out already, so check the freaking, the playlist down at the bottom. You know the vibes, stay lit. You could zoom in, whatever. That's around. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. be me you don't like what you see so you rub up on my energy i just want to be me smoking on that end of week so i just close my eyes because i know that one day everything everything's gonna be all right if i try i know i'll fly open your eyes and see past my flesh and see in my mind i open my heart you see all my scars you see all the love that i push in the dark Always feel alone, so I hop in my car, push button start. I dream every day as I look to the stars, spilling my heart while I'm spitting these bars. All alone and all alone, on my own head. Can we get it to go? Got on the smooth one. Just nervous. Ooh. Mm -hmm.